tell me what happened to your bobcat. Um, basically, it was left at the MTO way station on Puce Road um, for an infraction, and uh, it was stolen. Uh, I went there to pick it up after I repaired my equipment or my truck to tow it, and uh, to my surprise, it was gone. Um, and they didn't know what happened to it. It took them quite a while to finally get to the bottom of not even knowing whether they had it or not so uh, that was pretty frustrating uh, you know you go there and you're, you're looking for your equipment hoping to get on with business and something like this happens and I got a lot of business I need to use it for so it's uh, it's putting me behind and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do uh, I don't even know how really to feel like I said so yeah it's a pretty awful thing so. this, this is my first year in business and uh, it's really tough when uh, you're just starting out, I put everything I had into this business and basically the equipment is the biggest part of my business. Without it, I'm, I'm at a standstill. Um, it's really uh, put me at a, a, a disadvantage and I'm really uh, uncertain whether I'm even gonna be able to keep doing what I wanna do. Uh, I don't have the money. Also with the insurance, uh, the trailer isn't covered apparently through the business insurance and uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna cover the equipment for what it's actually worth, be worth because it's older equipment. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really, it's a really awful thing. So yeah, I'm just, I guess only time will tell. Hopefully this will help, uh, get me some leads or, uh, find out what happened to it. If I could get it back, uh, or at least spread the word about what's going on. Um, and, uh, just to let people know, maybe their equipment might not be safe if it's left at a government facility, um, all the time, I guess.